Hello GearFacts friends! If you want to install EXP expansion cards into your Korg Karma synth, it is a bit of an ordeal. You'll have to work with these if you want to install these. And I can tell you now from the very compressed bit of video you're about to see, working with discs in 2021, hard work. Korg Karma system update, a very easy to find on the net. Man, this is tedious. Karma disc one. Now disc two. Disc three, that was a lot of key pressing. And this is just the first step, getting upgraded to version two. Okay, let's follow these instructions. Hold down the enter and locate buttons and switch it on. Please insert system one disc, disc drive. Bang it away there, ready to go. Weird. Version two, come on. Yeah. Error. Oh no. My bad. Whoa. Gotta do it again. No. If it doesn't work this time. Now erasing ROM. Okay, this is looking good. Completed. Now writing the internal memory. Starting system. Version 2. Okay, the option to load the PCG file. Let's try that. Hopefully we'll have combis written in our program banks. Let's try it. No. No. Nope. No. All right, and hopefully this is filling up the banks with our new sounds. Error reading from medium, of course. Fourth attempt. Getting this little error again. We've got another error there. Another go. Copy the data in again. Man, I can't believe we used to live like this in the 90s. And sure enough, we have patches. That was an ordeal. Massive. So finally our EXB chip is installed and ready to play. Wouldn't it be great if you could plug these in and use them immediately, as you'd expect to these days. That's not how it worked in the late 90s.
So Gearfax friends, at the end of the day, EXB PCM boards, are they worth buying and installing? Well, they're still pretty expensive, and I think there are much better alternatives. I think they're only really worth it if you wanted to have that really complete vintage Korg system. Other than that, don't really worry about it. Have a good day, thanks for watching Gearfax, and I'll see you on the next one.